I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department, drawing and painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. I'm going to speak on the history of Japanese painting. Module 28, woodblock prints, its developments from 1660 to 1760. In the aftermath of the 1657 fire, the Edo inhabitants reconstructed their physical surroundings in a manner suited to the practical requirements of daily life. Hishikawa Moro Nobu is thought to be the first print designer to sign his works. He illustrated over 150 books on various subjects. Okimura Masa Nobu inaugurated a genre of print called Yuki A, floating pictures. Kiyo Nobu and Endo focused their talents as painters and print designers on single figure compositions. Prints could be purchased from itinerant street vendors or directly from publishers. The earliest prints were black and white illustrations. Ando, Anchi Dohan and Doshin were also skilled both as painters and print designers. Since the early 16th century, a favorite art form among the rising Birogis had been genre painting. These work featured a variety of popular recreation and amusements. Some showed elegant, beautiful women in leisurely pursuits. They meticulously recorded details of dress. Later forms featured the more down market activities of low grade prostitutes or bathhouse attendants. One particularly popular type depicted entire city blocks and included city dancing festivals, floats, and interiors and exteriors of very kind scenes such as the anonymous Shijo Kawara are the apotheosis of Bureau Gios collective self-portraiture. Towards the end of the 17th century, as the appeal of this kind of art increased, it began to the mass produced. Urban life seemed at its most elegant and extravagant in the demi-monde of Edo. Kyoto and Osaka here, as the late Sir George Samson put it, was the world of fugitive pleasures of theatres and restaurants, wrestling booths and houses of assignation with the permanent population of actors, singers, storytellers, gestures, courtesans, bath girls and interrent purvi oars, among whom mixed the pro filigate sons of rich merchants, dissolute samurai and naughty apprentice, the Japanese themselves confessed. Living only for the moment, turning our full attention to the pleasures of the moon, sun, the cherry blossoms and the maple leaf, singing songs, drinking wine and diverting ourselves just in floating, floating caring not a whit for the pauperism, starting us in the face, refusing to be disheartened like a god floating along with the river current. This is what we call the floating world, yukiyo e from Asia, Yayoi, Tales of the Floating World. This floating world formed the prime subject matter both of genre painting and of the Japan woodblock prints, which is 
now world famous. Printed illustrations had been known in Buddhist circles since the Hinayan period, but with the Edo boom in communications, the printed book became an independent art form. The literati Viragyosi was hungry for printed literature of the outspoken type, which had long been part of the vernacular tradition. Illustrations, particularly to bawdy tales, were in great demand, and astute publishers accordingly commissioned and produced some of the world's most frank and joyous celebrations of earthly pleasures. Equally, the spread of scientific interest and knowledge resulted in the publication of medical and botanical books containing acquisite drawings of plants and herbs. It was during this time that the woodblock carver's art soared to unexcelled heights. In the aftermath of 1657 fire, just as Edo's inhabitants reconstructed their physical surroundings in a manner suited to the practical requirements of daily life. So two artists reconstructed the city of the imagination. Woodblock printed books and single sheet prints became the chief tools in this process. The artistic vision of the publishers, designers, and writers who collaborated in their creation both stimulated and responded to the growing sense of Ido's cultural identity. Unlike paintings, prints could be produced rapidly, relatively inexpensively, and in large numbers making them exceptionally responsive to the latest fashion or politics. Prices varied depending on size and quality. But in the mid-19th century, the cost of a single print was roughly the same as a bowl of noodles, a full meal for most commoners. Prints could be purchased from itinerant street vendors or directly from publisher shop such as that of Nishimura Ijido. Their owners sometimes pasted them on walls or sliding screens to enhance interior decor. Those issued in large series and increasingly common practice from the late 18th century on were generally kept in boxes or mounted in albums to be enjoyed at leisure. The earliest prints were black and white illustrations for the new genres of books that emerged in response to a growing demand from an increasingly literate public. These included romances, tales of supernatural and humorous stories, written in easy-to-read syllabic script kana rather than the more difficult Chinese characters kanji. Guides to famous places in Kyoto, Osaka and Edo and critiques of courtesans and actors. Hishikawa Moronobu, 1618-1694 Began to produce black and white prints, hand-colored in orange-red. Many of these were overtly 
and extravagantly erotic, and this style imitated the calligraphic character of the ink brushed line. An example of the type is a street scene in Yoshiwara, black and white woodblock print belonging to Edo period and at present in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. The scene is set in the red light district of Edo, Tokyo, and while it is adapted to traditional book illustration, it recalls sections of the earlier narrative hand scrolls. The artist's lines, though based on brush drawing, is adopted to the cut of knife on wood. By the early 18th century, a wider range of colors, including an attractive rose red and a deep toned black resembling lacquer, was added. Moro Nobu is thought to be the first print designer to sign his work, and in freeing prints from the secondary role as book illustrations, is often considered the father of. Yukio E. Like most of Edo's great 17th century artists, Moronobu was not a native son. He left his provincial home and family profession of embroiderer to seek fame and fortune in the great city around 1660. At some point, receiving training in Kano and Tosa style painting. His skill in handling complex figural groupings and spatial relationships is evident in a pair of screens showing the backstage of a kabuki theatre. Hishigawa Moru Nobu's pair of six panel folding screen titled Backstage at Kabuki Theatre. Detail, ink and cold powder on paper and at present in the National Museum, Tokyo. Here, Moronobu adapted an aerial perspective to allow a panoramic view of actors backstage at Ido Naka Muraza, dressing putting on makeup and turning the instruments before a performance. In addition to painting, Moro Nobu illustrated over 150 books on many subjects, including guides to the Yoshiwara and to the Tokaido Road. Ido Castle and the Tokaido Road from a measured pictorial map of the Tokaido. It is dated 1690, detail, woodblock printed book, Rabbit's Collection. Santa Monica, Moro Nobu's guidebook is in the form of a folding book, a format well suited to the traveler's needs. This section shows the first three stages of the Tokaido Road, Nihon Bashi, the traditional starting point, followed by Kiyo Bashi and Shin Bashi. Edo Castle is on the upper right. Also figuring in his repertory are a large number of erotic prints in which Suggestive sexual activities are presented against the backdrop of the emotional seasonal allusions associated with classical literature. An example is of lovers under a mosquito net and at present in the Honolulu Academy of Art, Hawaii. The 
This monochromatic print is a leaf from an album of erotica shunga, a genre practiced by many Edo print designers. The style and technique of this new art form evolved rapidly during the initial flowering of the Japanese print up to 1765. Tori Kiyonobu and his sons Kiyomasu 1694-1716 and Kiyonobu II 1702-1752 for example developed Moronobu's style laying particular emphasis on time and stylization when they portrayed the kabuki actors Yakusha A. The descendants maintained these close ties with the kabuki theatre and perpetuated the mannered expression of actor portraits. To illustrate this initial phase of the Japanese print, an example of the work of Urushi E. type by Tori Kiyonobu II, whose skill in this technique was equal to that of Okumara Masanobu. The actor Ogino Suburo on stage is a hand colored print, Urushi A, and at present in the National Museum, Tokyo. It represents the actor Oginol Sabura in the role of Aroka Genta, which he interpreted in 1762 at Ishimuraza Theatre in the play Hina Zuru Tokiwa Genji. Following the practice of Masa Nobu, who often produced portraits in sets of two or three, this print forms a pendant with the portraits of Arashi Vasaburo, disguised as a girl which thus accounts for the actor's movement towards the left. His body, the long curving sabar and the pine all go to form a well-balanced whole, while the simple colors and the sharp black lines emphasize the impression of movement. Herein lies the charm of these early prints which have a more direct appeal than the later, more highly developed world. Moro Nobu's influence extended beyond his own studio to the schools of Tori Kiyonobu and Kai Getsudo Endo. This indebtedness is specially evident in the liner clarity of their designs. Unlike Mora Nobu, however, both Kiyo Nobu and Endo focused their talents as painters and print designers on single figure compositions featuring the two embodiments of Edo culture, Kabuki actors and courtesans. Born in Osaka, the son of an actor and painter of billboards, Tori Kiyonobu moved to Edo in 1687, where he began producing prints of beautiful women and in greater numbers of actors in their dramatic roles. His success was due not only to his artistic skill, but to his association with the rising Kabuki star Ishikawa Danjiro One, who popularized the dynamic Aragoto rough stuff acting style that Edo audiences found so appealing. The actor Ishikawa Danjiro II as Soga Goru in the print Danjuro II performs a celebrated Aragoto role in a play about the revenge of the Soga brothers, a favorite in the Kabuki 
repertory. The actor's distorted facial expression, symbolically painted in alternating lines and the scale of the arrow he sharpens vividly, convey the young Soga Goru's fury and determination to avenge his father's murder. Later Tory artists specializing in actor prints adopted the stereotyped figural style developed by Kiyonobu with legs sharp like inverted guards and wriggling worn contours. Because of the flipnessness of the Edo public, few schools of print designers lasted for more than two or three generations. The Tori lineage is exceptional in that its members are still active today. About the time that Tori Kiyanobu was popularizing portrayals of actors in Aragoto roles, his contemporary Kai Getsudo Endo and his followers Anchi Dohan and Doshin developed an equally influential vision of feminine beauty. Skilled both as painters and print designers, they specialized in seductively posed robust beauties dressed in sumptuous garments. Dohan's woodblock print in the National Museum Tokyo is of a beauty reading a poem slip. Here the mannered pose of this robust beauty was used in many paintings and prints by the members of Kai Getsudo school to highlight the elaborate and imaginative decoration of garments. The majestic allure of these idealized women is enhanced by the unusually large size of prints which may cover one and a half sheets of paper. The publication of such oversized prints may have been cut short by the government edicts of the Kyoho era that sought to limit luxurious excesses of all kinds. The Kyoho reforms were the first of the government's periodic efforts to quell social unrest brought on by poor economic conditions. Like the Kansai reforms of the 1790s and the Tempo reforms of the 1840s, these programs included regulations directed at the publishing industry. Their application was capricious, but the government often targeted books and prints dealing with current events, especially those that presented the shogunate in an unfavorable light. Erotic works deemed detrimental to public morality and excessively luxurious prints enforcement was strongest in Edo, although publishers in Osaka also curtailed their activities for fear of punishment ranging from jail terms and exile to confiscation of their property. A lifting of the ban on the importation of foreign books, providing they contained no material pertaining to Christianity, was also part of Ohio reforms. Intended to promote scholarship, this policy resulted in the diffusion of illustrated books from China and Europe, especially those dealing with the natural sciences and technology. Avidly studied by both scholars and artists, they spurred new ways of seeing and recording the physical world. 
ever eager to cater to the public's love of novelty, Edo print artists responded to these new sources of influence by incorporating European illusionistic techniques into their designs. Oki Mura Masanobu was the first to exploit Western perspective, inaugurating a genre of print called Yuki, floating picture. His Yuki focus on familiar Ido locals such as the interiors of theatres, tea houses and brothels, but by employing in the representation complex arrangements of vertical, horizontal and specially receding diagonal lines that give the illusion of deep space. He invested them with an exotic aura that captivated the public. An example is a woodblock print in the Geyer collection, Germany, of an interior of a brothel, was inspired by a play about Yumegek, a famous Osaka courtesan, by beating a bronze brazier she was said to have produced a shower of gold coins to her penniless lover. Print designers had no pretensions about their status as commercial artists. Their unbashed commercialism is evident in the self-promotional signatures and inscriptions figuring on many prints. Masa Nobu, who exceptionally was both an artist and publisher, claimed in his signature that he was the originator of the one school of Edo, Yukio-e, as seen in the right margin of the print illustrated here. He also included the location and the trademark of his shop so that potential customers would know where to purchase his works.